Hello and welcome to a beginner's training on how to use Sony Vegas Pro to do editing. My name is Rudy. I go under this channel right now that I created tech tips and tricks. So let's get started guys. When you open this first up, you're probably going to be in project manager right here. And you probably want to go ahead and click on explore. And these things you can, you know, generally make them bigger, smaller, whatever you want, you know. And uh, this is usually going to be in a list like that. And I usually, I like to have it a thumbnail so that way I can see what's going on in my screen, right? So this is how I usually get started with it. So I'm going to be editing a video here for my other channel. So let's get right started. I'm going to go to my intro video that I'm going to be using. So let's go ahead and get that import it over here and it's real easy all you got to do is click on it drag it right into place and you have it right in there so how you remove audio is you right click on the audio go ahead under groups remove and then you can go ahead and delete that so I don't want to use that audio so I'm going to go ahead and select my audio that I like which is this one right here I'm going to go ahead and trim that a little bit and this is how you can edit videos in audio you select about where you want the audio to start and you can zoom in with the uh, little round thing on your mouse zoom in and out of there like that and then you can get really close into the video or audio whichever way you want to do it you right click on the audio and you can do this two ways you can either split or you can go ahead and trim start and then that basically deletes the front so you don't have to do any of that but that's say if you ever do want to do editing or, or like let's say you want to use a certain part of this video then you can just go ahead and do split and then let's say you want to cut another one here and you can split and then delete that part that's how you can cut stuff out of uh, a video if you uh, need to but let's just go under settings here and you always want to make sure that this is off and this selection right here is usually under under good or so so you always want to make sure it's under the best that's mine is already selected like that and in here you can usually go and select whatever you want to do whatever kind of video quality you want to have so I usually go with the uh, 1920 by 1080 but that will only put you at 23 frames per second so I usually choose the 20 uh, 59 frames per second you can actually save that profile which I have as you probably saw right here I have that saved already so I don't need to select anything in there I just wanted to show you that that's a good idea to do there so we're just gonna have, go ahead and click a OK so that's basically how you get the first step in there and I'm just going to go ahead and go here and I have already taken a screenshot of a map that I want to have in here so I just drag it in there so I don't want the audio to be any longer so I just go ahead and that's how you end trim the audio or video file whichever one you want to so I just hit that if you want the audio to fade in and out it's pretty simple all you got to do is hold your mouse right there on the edge and just click and then drag it a little bit and that will fade out the audio and you can do the same thing here with fading it in so you, you guys can see how that audio like kind of fades in and out of there you see the wave how it goes <clears throat> that's how you can do that so let's say if I want to add a text well I do want to add a text so I go under media generator and I have one that I like actually and that is this one if you hover your mouse over it it actually shows you what it's gonna look like when you import it so all you do is grab it and drag it right into place and I do not wanna have this shorter so I just grab it right at the end here I hold my mouse until you see the little square come on and then I just drag it right into place and voila there it is so I do wanna change the name in this here 
I also do want the size to be a little smaller so I go ahead and select 12 because that's the size I like I'm just gonna go ahead and go on to my map here and this is from where I started this is actually a video from my other channel here and so what we're going to do is going to go ahead and paste that in there so that's pretty much how you go ahead and add it text into there I'm just going to add it this in here and then you can go ahead and drag that wherever you want it you can make it smaller or bigger by them corner squares you just threw it like that drag it and then you can have it whichever size you like too and you can go ahead and change colors in here as you please and you can actually play around with animation in here but we're not going to get into that high tech today and uh, I like this one here as well so we're going to go ahead and do some more text into here just going to quickly do this here and then uh, we'll move on to some other editing tips here so we got 653 oh, 653 that's collimators that's basically what I driven like I do have a trucking channel so I always uh, make these videos for that so that's 406 miles so I type that in there oops <coughs> correct that spelling there and then I drag it wherever I would like to have it and it's going to be a little bit of an effect so now I'm going to go ahead and drag this audio in video in here we're not going to delete the audio on this one so I'm just going to show you I zoom in usually until I see the audio wave start I right click start and this is just my way of editing right so so then I just take the file drag it right onto there now let's say I want to have something that looks cool to transition from the map into the video. Well, we have a transition section right here where it says transitions. And I have my preference which ones I like. That's this one right here. This is a if effect. When you hover your mouse, mouse over it, you can actually see kind of what the effect is going to look like. So I usually like this default one here and I just take it and drag it right into where I want it and then you see this little square and the, and the plus come on then you can just let go and now you can see how that how that kind of blurs out and you just close the screen here so we're going to go ahead and take the last little bit out of here let's see where we need to cut it we'll get out of here and then we'll get our day started appreciate you guys tuning in so we want to cut it right there and then we'll cut that off now let's get into uh, some more editing here I'm going to just drag that one into there just gonna zoom in a little bit and then I'm going to show you how you can do the picture in picture like I usually have it on my other channel so what you want to do is make sure that you don't drop it in these lines so what I generally do is I take it I grab it and I just go just above there and you can probably see the gray line in there you see the gray line up here in there I just kind of line it up up to where my other video file is and I just let go of it automatically creates a new audio and video track right there well now you see that video is always on top whichever video file you have here that's the video file that's going to be on top all the time now the way we go ahead and get get that edit is if you want to have that let's say in a corner like I usually do I go ahead and click on this arrow right here where you see my mouse I select that I just usually get that out of the way a little bit like that I can make that smaller bigger whichever way I want and you can either do it with the numbers in here or very simple just take this and drag it and you see the screen you see it in the screen what's happening and then you can make it the size you want you just click in the center and you can drag it wherever you want let's say you want it in the corner over there you can go ahead and put that there and then if you're satisfied with that then you can actually name it and you can actually hit save and then you have that profile saved which I already have which I call top right corner video 
see that's let's go ahead and select that you see that that's my size then you can see the numbers change in here so let's click on one see that's what I mean you can actually you know like change that around whichever way you want right which we're just going to put this back where it's supposed to be where I like it but anyways that's kind of how I do the basic uh, editing or whatever but just for example I want to go ahead and usually I use my logo in a corner I'm going to go ahead and show you that what I meant is whenever an audio whatever you drop on top of this is going to be the default uh, main uh, video track basically so let's go ahead and drop this uh, logo that I have right in there you see what I mean that's exactly what I was talking to you about so I'm just going to go ahead and I already have this preset so you see how that goes very simple straightforward so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here cut this for now and then I'll show you at the end on how I finish this and uh, uh, once this is all been put together I'm gonna show you how I have my settings set and all how to render it and all that as you can now see I have put all my video files into here that I wanted I am pretty much done editing and pretty much all it was you know like cut the ends the beginnings and all of that as you can see I got my logo in there and I usually take the audio files out of the uh, one video file because I don't want to have it sound like like <laughs> crap right so I always make sure I take one audio file out there because I have dual cameras uh, shots in here like I showed you uh, how we had that corner screen and the top there right so now we are all ready to go finished uh, editing so we're going to go ahead and uh, save this file and I'm going to tell you why it's important to do this before you do anything else so I go ahead and save that and I always save this into the folder where I have all of my video files so I go ahead and just save that now let's say if I close this I'm still open. so all I gotta do is go back here and you will see this video or not video file but it's uh, like a profile uh, file right here so let's say if you ever get into the editing and uh, you know like you don't have time to continue on then you can just go ahead and save it like I just showed you and then you can come back later to that folder and just click it and that will actually open up Sony Vegas right there and it will uh, have all your files that you have created already in there so it's just going to go ahead and load all these files and also it's important to do that just in case your program crashes or anything like that so that way you don't have to re-edit everything right so let's go ahead and show you how we render now this is how we do it we go all the way to the end we select it and then you see it highlights everything blue go all the way to the front make sure you do this all the way you know make sure it's all the way from where you want to begin all the way to the front that it's highlighted like that and then I go all the way up here in the top where it says file select there and it says render as I go ahead and select that and this is where you can usually uh, choose your settings this is kinda what yours is gonna look like because I have my favorite one already selected and let's see where I have that I okay I believe it's in here so this is a good uh, recommendation from me under what kind of format you should render the video go until you see the Sony AVC slash MVC and that you can uh, choose whichever file you want go ahead and open that and then you can choose which one you want I believe I had chosen this one and then I customized it I'm going to show you my customization that I have in here see I put a little uh, 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 yellow star on there so that way it always recognizes it as my favorite and then I can just go ahead and say I want to just show my favorite so then it's automatically already in there right but yours is gonna look like that but this is what I did with my customization this is where you go into the customization of this template you click right here and then you'll be able to customize it a little bit and you always want to make sure that this is high definition everything is high here 
you want to make sure that you know I render mine at 59 frames per second you won't want to leave all of this alone you want to go in here into the audio make sure everything looks good there and you can go under the system you also want to make sure video rendering quality is set at the best quality and uh, let me just get out of here and show you where you can adjust the audio that's right here by this wheel right here where we were in earlier you can actually go in here and adjust your audio I used to do surround system but then I was having problems with YouTube so I went back to stereo but you also do want to make sure that this is select on best I think uh, from default it's only at good so then uh, I want to just go ahead and select this I usually have my settings set here preset so I just want to change the date because that's what I have it set all that's left to do is make sure that this is selected rendered uh, loop region only so that means that the highlighted selection that's the selection you want to uh, to render right and here it's going to say save, save project and all of that stuff uh, not really important but anyways that's how you go ahead and do it and hit render and there you go this is what it's going to look like I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's a bit of a lengthy one, but I wanted to show you from the start to the end on how you can go ahead and do video editing and all of that and uh, do like picture in picture and the whole nine yard. I wanted this to be uh, kind of like a full length video to explain to you guys how I do my video editing. And I think this should get you started no matter what you do or, or whatever. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, don't forget to rate it, like, share, subscribe, do all them good things that make us love our job. And if you have any questions, just don't hesitate. Leave me a comment down below, and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. So this is Rudy from Tip Tricks and uh, Tech and all that stuff. So uh, we'll see you on the next one.